I wanted to talk about your pigments. Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk about uh, Blush to Bold. So your company is Ombre Blush Brow, OBB. Everybody can OBB. find you. Yeah, everybody can find you on Instagram. Right, you've, got that, you've got that tattooed on, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah, OBB. OBB, yeah. right? Because I, I get tongue twisted. Like, try to say Ombre, blo ombre say Blush Brow, like, fast, like, three times. You can't. Right, it's like right. It's like like, like it's like a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Yeah, it's a, it's a tongue twister. So I was like O P P. Yeah, yeah it could OBB. be a song like you know the song yeah. O P P. Other people's yeah. yeah, it's like O P P. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love it. So that's your company. <clears throat> yeah, and and then yeah, and that's your company. And you kind of and you developed your pigment. You developed a technique, the way you work, this layering uh, gradient uh, technique to your, to yep. your ombre brow. And you mm -hmm. developed a, a pigment line to really complement the way you work. So I think your pigment line, and this is why when I finally, I think it was Kat that made me sit down and read your emails and take a look at you. And then I got, she, she did, she did. And, and then I got super interested. And why I got really fascinated with you is because you were different. You, you wanted two pigments, same tone, mm. but one lighter, one darker, to complement the way you work. And I had never worked on a line like that before. So I saw this as something really new, really yeah. innovative, really unique, and I was excited to jump on it. But I think the misconception about your blush to bold pigments that I would like to clear up is people think they have to work like you. They have to use both pigments. They have to layer. And if they don't work like you and layer and blend dark to light, they can't use your pigments. And that is so not true. Within your line, you can work the way I work. You can do hair strokes. You can do any technique. You can it's use the single. lighter. Yeah, you can yeah. take the lighter color of the pair and use that all by itself. You can take the They're dark. 12 individual colors, or you can have them as pairs. That's, and, that's what, um, and that's what I want people to really, really understand about your line, because I think when we first launched, maybe there was a misconception that yeah. they weren't 12 individual colors uh, all on pair. their own. They were yeah. two pairs that had to be used in pairs yeah. and had mm -hmm. to be used according to the way you work, and that is not true. And so yeah. I think people are finally starting to discover that about your line. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Oh my God, yeah, like literally. Yeah. We used to get emails, you know, We've had like a massive a shift, basis. haven't yeah, we? Big used to shift get, now. We had a massive shift, yeah. But that was definitely a topic that would come up a lot. You know, um, people would email in all the time. And I think say, you don't know with a pigment line, do you? It's like no. I, with my with my staff, they always say to me, Clarissa, you know that, yeah, but we don't know you that. Have right. to, you have to you get know? inside the custom, the right. artist's mind. And, you know, yeah. You have to, yeah. It's kind of like, I think of it like, you know, there's some like, uh, items, like you go to the store and there is like, we have a groceries a chain here called like Costco. And sometimes with some food items, oh, you do, yeah, well, you know, like at the end of the aisle, sometimes there's a person there displaying and showing you how to use an item. Right. It's, <laughs> yeah, we need? yeah. It's kind of like that. No. I, I, you know, it's like almost with your line, you need it. It's almost like you had to explain, but I do find that with every single line, even with loaded with queen, you know, they, you know, the queen line, yes, that was developed for, um, you know, dark skin, uh, black skin and specifically African-American skin, uh, for the uniqueness of their skin, but it can also be used on, you know, other skin types, but it was, uh, and so people kind of want to take a pigment line and lock it into a very specific yeah, yeah. corner when they are very versatile. So let me ask you this, how was it developing? I don't think people understand how difficult and how maddening it is, especially oh, for someone like you, Clarissa, yeah. who's a lot like me, right? You're yeah. a manic thinker. It's relentless. Relentless. Yeah, it's You're probably obsessive. Got some OCD, right? Uh, you know, all this stuff. I have got OCD. I know. You're a lot like me. And Michael, you're a lot like Kat. Kat always yeah. says, I'm the gardener. Michael's the gardener. You and Clarissa, you're the flowers. Oh, you're the wild flowers. Yeah, yeah. He has exactly. to take. He, he has to I take my. Water her, you know, look he up. has to take the phone off me. He has yes. to literally put me in a in a lock. Yeah. Like this bed and go go to sleep. And yes. I'm like, yes. I've got things to do. He's like, go to no, sleep. No, but you know what? Now, two so two two years, three years down the line, it, it has changed. But you know, you go back to the start in the early days. 
I'd, there'd be days where I would go up to bed um, and I'd come downstairs in the morning and Clarissa would be, uh, you know, on the kitchen kitchen floor. I've got pigment all over my face. Uh, there'd be pigment all over the floor. Fantastic. Uh, her phone would be on the side. You know, there'd be Pantone, there'd be Pantone books everywhere. It was, it was just like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so, you know, and that was, um, Clarissa was relentless. Um, so you know, how did, did that, as a married couple, did that affect your relationship at all? Because the I dynamic of wife and wife, me and Kat have been together 17 years. You guys yeah. have been married how long or together how long? Been together uh, 17 years. So, yeah, okay, I remember yeah. about the same amount. Married five. Right. Yeah. So you, Michael, always had your own career like Kat did. Yeah. And then yeah. you come into her crazy wild world like Kat came into my crazy That's wild you do. world. You go to their world. Right, come into right. Things, yeah. And we've yeah. talked about this as couples. Like Kat and I had to set boundaries. Um, we went through periods where we, we felt we lost our romance. We were no longer romantic because. Mm. We were business partners, but we both recognized it. And then we started exactly. setting date nights. We started, yeah, we stopped talking business at a certain time at night. We had to set boundaries and rules in order to maintain our marriage, our romantic uh, relationship. Did you guys ever deal with that? Do you have to have boundaries, rules? I think a lot of the start, you know, you know, you have to find it's hard, you know, when you're doing anything that you're passionate about to have a balance, you know, there's people say work life balance, but it's, it's not like that. Um, you know, especially when you believe in something so much, but, um, because Clarissa believed in this, um, you know, line so much, I, I always wanted to support, you know, everything that she was doing, but what was hard is sometimes, you know, I felt that Clarissa was maybe, um, you know, almost destroying her health, uh, and, yes. you know, yeah. uh, and sacrificing her health to, um, you know, do the things that she was doing. And so I'm very like, you know, you and Kat, I'm the regimented one. I'm the one that wants to, you know, go to bed at a certain time and, you know, yeah. um, and so. Let's go out for a meal, let's not try. I think at the end though, and to answer this question of Terry, yeah. you in the end became, I calmed down and then you were talking, when you came on board with me. And then it went the me, opposite way. When, 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 you, when he came on board with me, I said to him one night, I feel like all we ever do is talk about work. Like, can we not just talk about work tonight? Because and he's like, a, yeah. but you've just brought up about work. And yeah. I was like, what it's, what it's like, and you'll know this as well, it's, it's like a child, you know, the business yes. and everything within, it becomes part of the marriage. It becomes, yes. it just becomes part of- It becomes a part of you. Like who yeah, you does. are, so yeah. You, so we, we start you have to learn how to, to then manage that monster. And it can um, be difficult. It can be difficult. It can so be what difficult. We, what we do um, now. It, it's, it's so rewarding, you know, when, when it goes right. And, you know, you sit back and you, you would not change anything because all of those experiences, what, you know, shapes you as a person and, you know, and, and but I think the thing is, you know, it, it just takes time and you do find a balance, you know, you yeah, do. you do. Okay. Yeah, and I think we now do what like what um, what Taryn said. Like, so we'll say, okay, so the weekend, let's let's not work this weekend. Let's just let's not talk about work. Yeah. Or yeah. when we go out, let's not talk about work. So when we'll go out, we just will not. But then it is hard because you've got the online store as well. well especially once you get a cocktail in you, then you want to start talking about work. I, for, I forget the role Cat just said. I'll get a little you know cocktail in me, and I want to talk about. So something this is, so this is what clarissa will do she'll say right mike no serious you know tonight i don't want to know about honestly please don't talk to me about what and we'll go out and I'll be really good <laughs> i won't say anything and I, I won't mention anything and then she'll bring it up yeah and then i'll start talking and then what happens is if she starts the conversation i'll say i yeah. get really excited and i start going off on it, that, that's exactly what happens and angry. yeah and he, said, but yeah I don't he, he, we're talking about work yeah either then, either anyway, cat will join in and then we're yeah. both in it or she'll say, Taryn, you promised no work today. And my, my excuse will be, but it's a positive thing. It's, it's not a stressful yeah, thing, but this is a happy thing. Yeah. This is a positive thing. So it's yes. okay. And she's like, no, it's not okay. But Kat has done the flip-flop too. Lately, I would say the last month, you know, I'll, you know we'll, we'll put on like a Netflix or, you know, Married at First Sight, one of our shows. And I'll look over and her, she's on her phone at fucking 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, what are you doing? Um, and, and, and here's Kat. Uh, I'm answering Instagram. I'm answering your DMs. I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to close a sale, you know, cause we get messages on, on the yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna shut the fucking TV off. I'm gonna shut the TV off. And if I shut the TV off, I'm gonna get upset. So she has to put down her phone. So I think nowadays, um, you're right. It's both of us. 
And, but what I find is when I'm amped and in work and can't relax and can't get out of it, Kat's in a better place and she can pull me out of it gently. Sure. When yeah. she's in it, can't get out of it, amped, I'm in a better place. And I, so thank God we're not, we, oh my God, that's literally yeah, like me and you. We balance so like each other. Yeah. I'll come home and I'll be like, oh my God, da, 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 da. like I want to do this, want to do that. And he's like, all right, well, I'll do the dinner. Like you just do what you got to do. And then, and then, and then we'll we just, pick up. And then, and then we pick you up. You know, seven, sometimes even one o'clock in the morning, you know, we'll just wake up and yeah. we'll start talking about but whatever. But Taryn, you're right. We'll about. watch a film and then like, I'll look over and like, we would have got like a couple of like, if Mike gets, you know, we get really excited when we get like our, you know, we get sales or pigments or whatever. And yeah, he, or, an he inquiry. Can, or inquiries or, and he's like, oh my God. And then we'll pause, we'll pause the film. And then we'll talk about like what just happened or what then, the sale was or closing you know, a sale. We haven't even watched the film. Yeah. It's been two yeah. hours late. Yeah. Well, you know, but, Ka, I think Ka, it's it's true though. And that excitement never stops. You know, I think we've had our online store about 12 years, 11 years and we get excited for sales. We still get excited for this. It, everything is still really exciting and, and fun and joyful. You know, although you have the stress, the worried moments, the, the struggle. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not always, it's not always, you know, like 100%, is it? Like, you know, there is no. times where I've come home, I'm stressed, you know, like where I've been upset because I'm just overwhelmed. You know, I'm overwhelmed by too and it many can. things. You know, it like, can. I mean, when I, you, you've got you've you got know. so much going on. You know, we always say that you can split the business up into three. You've got the um, online training. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the training. Your yeah. academy. Yeah. Uh, there's the everyday procedures, and then there's the and, and then there's, and there's the, the products, store. And, the and then you've got yeah. everything else. You know, yeah. um, the pick line and everything else. And sometimes else. you just need to like. Yeah. Reset. And you can you reset. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Over, overwhelmed. Um, but going back to the very first question about Blush to Bold, I think it was a very, most people like you as well, I just wanted to get everything so right. And I was so privileged to obviously work, you know, with you and you obviously helping me to get in with um, LI Pigments. LI pigments. Well, and you know. I just want to say LI Pigments, they are Incredible. amazing, like the chemists, like they literally yeah. listen to everything. They and are. Really, they're just good people. And I don't They're think people understand, people, like, you know? it's not like a white labeled formula. You know, this no. is a formula. No. I've actually worked with them. You know, like, I've actually weighed the colors, the tones, the shades. Oh, revisions backwards um, and forwards. Backwards like, and forwards. the carriers in yeah. there. Well, Darlene won't white label anything. Like, Aqua, Velvet, Load, and all those, those are exclusive under the LI Brother in, uh, umbrella. And she won't release those formulas or colors to any private label, anybody. Like when you came to me, you had to have your own complete, like you had to develop yeah. your own formula, your own colors, everything. your own everything. We'll and guide you so you don't make a mistake because of course, LI chemists, they know how to mix and blend colors. They know what colors might yeah. not work well together, right. you know, this and that. So they'll guide you. Um, but no, that we that's really all we're there for is to kind of guide you, maybe give you some inspiration, some ideas that you had never thought of, you know, things like that. But it's really up to you to develop, you know, the line and it's LI, LI's responsibility to make sure that they're developing the best, uh, the highest performance line possible for you. So sometimes we do have to like guide you and say, no, that's really not gonna, gonna, gonna work well, you know, consider yeah. this. Well, you know, we send you sample after sample after sample. Some of the samples you like, some of the samples you like, you know, then we have to make adjustments to that sample. You can get seven samples of one color before like you feel color. that color's correct. Sometimes. Yeah, I did like 11 samples in one of the dark yeah. colors. Yeah, and I don't think yeah. people realize that, you know, no. and I don't know if anybody else really goes through that, you know, the way our artists go through that with LI because LI doesn't, Re, um, re repurpose anything. These are all brand new developments, brand new pigments. And I think, yeah. And that's why just quickly coming on the subject with blush to bold and saturation, just so that they make it, just so it closes that topic together. But the reason why blush to bold was, was formed and made is because if you think about to create um, a, to create something that, to, to make something look dark, you need to create high density, like high amount of saturation. Right. So where the bold comes into your blush to bold is that you can most probably saturate just a little bit less if you want and then switch to a darker shade. Right. And that will give you like that, that pop, that intensity yes. um, without oversaturating the same color. Right. So you can go down a shade 
and it will make it like completely pop. So, um, and using uh, blush to bold with hair strokes, combination brow, you know, you can do hair strokes with like the bold and then blush in the background. You can use bold on its own, blush on its own. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, there's just so you can such use it for microblading. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a versatile line. And I think this is one of the, the key challenges, I think, again, coming into blush to bold and learning what the, I'd say like what the audience yeah. Um, it was for the artist. That's yeah, you but know. then also understand the struggle of what the yeah. audience maybe didn't understand as well. Right. Like, because I understood it and I thought a lot of people would understand, but I think now we're going into like reformulating for the yes. new week. And I, that's um, what I wanted to touch on is, you know, once you got a really successful line and let me remind you, you know, you had a lot of challenge, you know, you, you, you had to launch during COVID. Yeah, you we know, did. you test, yeah. you know, ta keep testing during COVID, launch during COVID. And the UK was shut down a whole lot longer than many, you know, the US yeah, and, well. and many other places in the world. So I, th I think that placed, you know, a, a, a very unique challenge on, on the two of you. And, and I think, um, you know, I think when new products, new pigments launched during that time, I don't think they got the full attention as they no. deserved, or maybe they would have gotten if, there was no COVID, so you know, um, you know, I was worried for you, uh, you know, uh, you know, on on how you would handle that, um, but you handled it, handled it eloquently, and I know you still believe in this line, and and I think it's just been a nice, slow, consistent uh, yeah. gaining of artists yeah. finding this line, falling in love with it, and it becoming yeah. their line of choice. So that's what I'm seeing. That's yeah. what we're seeing as well. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I constantly do market research um, without like naming or anything, but like anyways, I, do, I constantly do market research and I constantly will try um, a lot of others just because I like, I like my, I want to see, I want to see the competition. Well, and you, you want to make sure, well, I did the same I thing, developing make, I loaded. See, yeah. I ordered a bunch of and, pigments. You no, know, I am. And I know what I know what I want, how I want it to heal. Right. And I think a lot of people, I mean, your loader line is absolutely incredible. And I think because the light fastness most probably in there as well is 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 great because a lot with a lot of people think with organic line that they will heal very saturated because of maybe more the, the like maybe the carbon mm -hmm. that's in there or but I think with LI pigments, like their light fastness and the way that they it's just so well balanced that with an organic your organic line i find that it heals very true to color but yeah. it still stays saturated whereas mm -hmm. with other organic lines that i have tried um they are just very very dull and, and dense gray and yeah and dense. yeah and they're turning and gray have, like, i don't yeah. know like they grab because there's a certain carrier i think in and in, in other lines that it's like a sticky I was speaking to I was speaking to actually one of the, the chemists, Blanca, and she was saying in other lines they have sometimes this other carrier that makes it like sticky. I don't know. It's like a imagine if you add like an egg, you know, to yeah. the formula. <clears throat> yeah. You know, and then so some people might like this sometimes another line because they see it. Oh, it sticks to the skin quite well. Right. But then what they don't realize is that when it heals, you can see every single thing like literally yeah. like yeah. We put an outline. It's in there. Like when yeah. you do a door in there and you don't want a line too much like that as no well. not at all not at all and li's never really followed the trends you know they've been making pigments for specifically for the face for 32 years darlene blanca matia all the ladies uh they're, they're brilliant they're brilliant and there's a lot of things they just won't do uh even to kind of compete with other they just won't do it because they don't believe in it um, mm -hmm. And with Loaded, we did something very, very, very unique uh, by using, yeah, being very particular about our light fast and very particular about combining multiple yellows with, uh, that do have, you know, some people are under the uh, impression that, you know, yellows have, you know, super low light fastness. They tend to have a lower light fastness than, you know, some, you know blacks and some of the, some of the other yeah. colors, but there are yellows out there that are heavier in weight um that might not make sense to somebody but it makes perfect sense to a chemist and that are higher in light fast and when you take uh, uh green based neutral based uh orange based you take all these yellows with heavy weights and different light fasts you can find them in the mid to higher light fast and you fuse them together in the base 
um, that that uh, um, that brings balance, balanced yeah. aging to an organic line that contains carbon. And we knew when we developed Loaded, we were going to have to combat the carbon. We knew that going in. Carbon can outlast anything as the power. Uh, it, does. it does. And we knew that. We all knew yeah. that. We had to combat that. But that's why Loaded, uh, it, Loaded was three years developing it, but Five years before we started developing Loaded, LI Pigments was doing R&D and testing and this and that, figuring out if, if car carbon could be balanced out by doing particular things. And if they were successful uh, in figuring that out and it could be done, then they would develop an organic line. Right, yeah. and if it could not be done, they were not going to do an organic line. And mm -hmm. lo and behold, it did take them five years. It was very frustrating. I was always on their ass. I drove them nuts. And then, you know, but it, it all worked out. We were able to develop Loaded. That took another three years before L.I. felt yeah. and I felt comfortable. And then yeah. here we are. So, yeah. yeah. But I've learned, I've learned so much. On Where are like, we on time? Like, 